Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to a new video. In this video I will be starting my boring black suit in seven different ways. So that you can see how versatile a black suit can be and that it actually does not have to be boring at all. If you want to see more of me then please go to my Instagram that is linked in the description down below. I'm posting there almost daily with daily outfit inspiration and other stuff that's just going on in general. Please also uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and uh, like the video. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. algorithm. Yeah, that's what it's like when you're not a native English speaker. So yeah, please <laughs> also like the video. Thank you very much. First outfit is with a classic light blue button down shirt. And the reason that I chose this shirt as number one is because there's nothing as classic almost as a black suit with a blue uh, button down shirt underneath. It has been used since ooh, the 70s by women at least. Men have used them I think forever but women is have used it for many many years and it still is one of the most used shirts also because that it is kind of shining authority when you are dressed like this business casual quiet luxury whatever you want to call it and uh, heads up for a, a trend of Winter 2024-25 that will come in a few post time. Quiet luxury is not going anywhere. It is continuing into 2025 as well. And this one is like extremely oversized. So I have tied it in here in the uh, waist. Like folded it up and then put uh, made... Uh, tied it into the belt straps here and made it like a uh, tucked but the reason that I've done it in this way is because I think that when you tuck something very often you will get like a big baldy uh, what's it called in English you'll be very bulky around the the waist and I don't think any woman want to show that if she can hide it at least I do not so that's why I have done it like this. Also because this one, as you will see in a minute, uh, is very, very oversized. And then you can see a little bit more about how I tied it up here. So, a uh, great thing about a blue shirt that is a very versatile shirt. And you can see here when I loosen up how I have tied it. Uh, unfortunately now it becomes all creased. But still, as you can see it is very long. Another way of styling it was of course putting on a belt instead and then just let it button it down and then just uh, let it be loose over the, the pants. That's another way of styling this particular shirt. I have dressed this one up with my loafers, my black loafers. So it's a nice flat shoe and then again the loafers is as you can see here in the close-up, very very bulky sole outfit number two with the black suit is this animal printed shirt in a half tuck. And the reason why I picked this one was to show that you actually don't have to be boring at all. You want to wear with your black suit because that's one of the great things about black suits everything match and therefore you don't really have to worry about colors and patterns and all those kind of things everything goes with a black suit and I love the leopard print which is actually also very much on trend this year and almost every year uh, so yeah you can totally use a animal print to your black suit on my feet I'm wearing my stiletto black sock boots, have a little bit of a sock up 
and then into the boot. So let me show you a close up of that one. So this is what it looks close up. As you can see, it has quite of a heel to it. Uh, and a very pointy heel as that. And then a very pointed toe as well. And then there's like this elasticated sock in the shoe. Moving on to the third outfit. Nothing is as classical as a silk shirt. And nothing is as stylish and as elegant as a silk shirt. It can really elevate any outfit at any day or any time. And so can a pair of really classical shoes. I'm wearing these ones again. Pointed. A little square heel and very easy to just slip into and this is definitely one of the go-to outfits for my day-to-day -day. as you probably know I'm working in a corporate nine-to-five job and uh, yeah that's where my career is and then this is my hobby very time-consuming hobby, but still, it is a hobby. And uh, yeah, when I am waking up in the morning and don't really know what to wear, this is one of my go-to outfits. The black suit all together, well, all my suits, but this black suit in particular, or one of my other black suits, for that matter. Yeah, interrupting myself there a bit. But yeah. <laughs> That is one of my go-tos and a silk shirt underneath is always styly and lifting the whole outfit up. To put a little bit more, uh, should we say, uh, fun into the outfit as much as you can in a corporate job with a strict dress code. I have put on these sparkly earrings because that's just giving a little bit of personality and just a little bit of fun. But do we think this is professional looking? I do. But let me know in the comments down below what is your go-to when you sit in waking up in the morning, how to go to work or wherever you have to go to and you have no idea what to wear and you just need to pick something and get dressed and get out the door. What are your go-to? Let me know in the comments down below and yes I always answer all the comments that you put down there so please Put comments down below. Thank you. Third outfit is a pink striped shirt because that's just a classical shirt again that is very easy to wear in many different ways. Again, this is oversized, that's how I like them. And you can just wear them in so many versatile ways. Like here, where I have just put it on over the trousers and then put on this big black belt and yes it is totally on purpose that I left it open here with the buttons because I kind of think it looks cool when the shirt is shining through well sometimes anyway and then I just uh, took the sleeves up and tucked them under so that they stay where I want them you can also use other tricks for uh, for making them stay up here let me know if you want a video on tips and tricks Put it down in the comments, together with any other idea that you may have, I always answer uh, in the comments and I do try to uh, accompany any wishes that you may have. I have chosen to just draft the jacket over my shoulders because I took the sleeves up. And on my feet I am just wearing a pair of plain white sneakers because this is a relaxed look in a way. Um, not so styled up, more styled down and a very good uh, outfit for all those of you who don't really know how to uh, wear a black suit and maybe just dipping your toes. So how classical and ordinary can it be? White button down shirt with a tight detail, I think you've seen it a few times, tucked and then I kept my sneakers on here and drafted the jacket around my shoulders just to make it a little bit more open and thereby inviting. You can sometimes style up too much but I will say if I were going on the office I would switch my sneakers out with a pair of black high heels or something like that. 
You can of course also instead of the jacket here just choose either just to wear the shirt because I have the tie detail or you can use a sweater instead. And the next outfit is uh, simply a sweater, not a particularly thick one, but a very classical one, white with this black little stripe here, and also on the sleeves and also down here in the button. I have the same one in marine with a white stripe because they're simply so classical, you can use them everywhere at all times. That also means that I have, since I dressed down on the top, I like to dress up in the button just to kind of balance it again. And here I will just put on my uh, sling bag that I think you've seen a lot of times. And then of course the jacket to go with it. Now when you are uh, wearing a jacket and it is really not that cold uh, as you would think it would be here in autumn. Then you can just easily like take the sleeves up a bit and it's making it a little bit less formal. And if you have a problem to uh, keep your sleeves up, you can buy some uh, rubber bands to put up. But you could also just take an elastic and then put it on just under where your sleeves are and then uh, tuck it in here so that you can't see it. I'm not wearing any now because what I'm simply doing is that I'm taking the fold of the jacket and then just put it under the fold up here and then it will be staying there without any rubber bands. But you can use a rubber band or a hair tie for that matter that, or you can fold it very uh, art in a very artistically way I would say. So. Again, another very classical way to dress down up your suit. If I was to wear the sneakers now, I would have dressed it a lot down. And the good thing about this is when it's as hot as actually is inside here right now, uh, wearing a sweater or a shirt for that matter, you can just take it off and then leave your jacket and then you can be a little more humorous. Is that what it's called? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course here in the end, the all black version, uh, back into loafers and then a black sweater with a little bit of detail on it. It's like one of these two in one sweater where there are some uh, spots and so it looks like you have a shirt underneath when you really don't. I like them a lot because it gives me a little bit of extra variation. I will say when you're going for the whole monogram look as black and black with black black or red and red with red and red, red. Changing out the textile in the different elements of your outfit is actually helping to give a little bit of versatile, make it a little bit more versatile and it's kind of breaking up the, the all in one you can say. So it's making it very elegant and uh, very styled up. Now I will just drape drape the jacket here around my shoulders because this is really hot and I think there's like 30 degrees in here at this point in time. So um, yeah but you can of course if it's more cold just put the jacket on or whatever it suits you. But I will in summer I will just maybe wear a black t-shirt underneath or a black button down or uh, anything that is kind of breaking it up. If you have a black silk button down, that's really it's just so elegant. And the suit itself is linen, so it is different textiles. And uh, I've been going a lot in flat for this videos. So uh, a good flat window shoe with a good sole on it will also help breaking up you could also wear high heels or uh, black heel boots or only your imagination is setting up the limits. And then please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.